In this session, let's learn about some other views which don't follow the previous pattern like user underscore all underscore DBA underscore or V dollar or GV dollar. Okay. These are some which don't fit into the categories which we have discussed before. Really there is no reason from Oracle on why the naming convention is different from the previous views. Okay. The session privs which means session privileges. This contains system privileges which are active for the current user and the session. Suppose you are logged in as Peter and if you query from session privileges view you will know what are the various privileges Peter has during that session. Okay. Next one dictionary. This is a very important data dictionary view. Because it contains information about all the data dictionary tables and views. It contains the name of each and every data dictionary table or view. And also it describes the need of the data dictionary table or view. Okay. By querying this data dictionary view dictionary, you can find out all the data dictionary tables or views present in the database. Okay. The next one DICT underscore columns just like the dictionary contains all the data dictionary views and tables. It contains the information of each and every column information related to those data dictionary tables or views. Okay. If you want to understand what a column means in a particular data dictionary table or view, you can query this dictionary columns view. Okay. And table privileges. This is used to find out the current object privileges for the current user. Example, the user Peter is running a session and if he wants to find out what are all the tables he has permission on, he can query the view table underscore privileges. Okay. So, whenever you see data dictionary views or tables which don't follow the naming convention like all underscore DBA underscore users underscore or V dollar or GV dollar, don't get confused. Okay. Still, they are data dictionary views or tables. Okay.